What's up, dudes and dudettes and honkies and honkettes? You guys are remembered and not forgotten. Today we're talking about lack of love, LOL, on the Sega. Ega, Ega, Ego Waffle, Sega Dreamcast. I always say that. Ego Waffle. Ego Waffles and Dreamcast go well together because the Ego looks like a disc and you can put it inside of your Dreamcast and see what happens. I would just not put maple syrup on. But this is Lack of Love, and it's somewhat infamous because it is some sort of creature simulator. Now, the people that worked on this, or the person that worked on this, has worked on some other game that's like a creative, cool game. Um, can't say right now, but I'll put a little overlay of that. But it's just a little interesting creature sim game where there's no real clear directions. You just or dumped in there and you gotta figure it out and uh, I think that there's like three crystals that you have to activate you have to like light them up in each stage and I, I've seen walkthroughs and videos and reviews on this game before for some reason the retail copy of this goes for insane prices I'll put the prices right you know and yeah um, it's just kind of crazy. This is a reproduction game, obviously. I did not get this one on Etsy. I got this one on uh, Nightwing Studios or something website. And yeah, um, they seem to be pretty decent repros. I'm, I'm happy with the way they look. Let's see how they play. Got two others from him that I did not check yet. Uh, the, the dude that sold, sold me that. But yeah, um, did you guys notice that I shaved my head? I did that. Um, yeah, it feels good. Getting stuff done today, being proactive is always good. What are we here to talk about? We're, we're here to talk about lack of love. Do you have enough love in your heart and soul and mind for this particular game? I don't know. Let's find out. Do you have enough patience in your heart and soul and mind to record this game twice. Well, you know what? I do because this is my second time recording this. This game does not support VGA, so we're going to hit that start button and do it old school, just like with that uh, Black Matrix AD review I did. I'm going to cut to the chase and tell you that this is a very trippy intro very minimalistic and it reminds me of space channel 5 and the movie wall e as you will clearly see just believe me and we will just commence to watching
Okay, right now is a good place for me to just kind of start talking, I guess. Um, kind of a peaceful, tranquil type game. I love the presentation. This is the second time I rewatched this. I've played this in passing before on uh, a burnt copy. Yeah, it's really kind of um, difficult to transfer files on a USB stick, because um, that's what I do. I record intros and stuff onto this tablet, and then I put it on a USB stick, right? But um, if I already have a project and I'm working on it, and then I uh, try to transfer files later on, um, I might get corrupted data and stuff, and that's what happened this first time. I just lost my game footage, so I'm going to transfer the data through a um, SD card this time instead of a USB stick. So that's Wally's army. It's a very clean looking game. It's very kind of serene, you know. It's a very interesting camera angle. Man, if I had a surround sound system, I would totally plug this in. I need to become more of a sound guy. I have a mic, but it, uh, I've noticed that there's some weird audio interference sometimes when I'm recording audio. But on this tablet, I never really have problems. Sometimes the old school methods are the best methods. I don't know. Okay, yeah, you're supposed to do something with the D-pad. Analog stick, I apologize. Which is strange, because I think you move your character with the D-pad later on. I don't know. What do I know? <laughs> Ross from Friends. Let's just interject that. Rachel from Friends. Let's interject that. Monica from Friends. How about just everybody from Friends? How about that? Except for Joey, let's not include him because, I don't know, let's include Joey. Joey's okay. Joey from Friends had a show, and it was very short-lived because no one watched it. And I don't know what's on TV these days because nobody watches TV. I think I saw TV on a movie once. There's this show on Netflix called I Think That You Should Leave. It's called I Think You Should Leave, and um, the comedy on that is just on point. I recommend that show. Okay, this is the point of the game where you actually play. It's raining some sort of pink blobs. It's raining jello shots. Okay, I saw a, like, review online, um, like a walkthrough, and I kind of know what to do, but this game is just so odd. You just got to figure it out. Yeah, dude turns into a cocoon. He hatches out shortly after, I can tell you that right now. Spoilers. Hey, I'm having a good time reviewing this game so far. I think it's turning out better than the first time. 
I guess it's good to do double takes every now and then. Okay, so I watched this video and it was a walkthrough of this game. And I think I remember this guy like walking all up in this. And he took a left over here. Man, I really don't know what I'm doing and I, I apologize if this video sucks. But I, I swear you fight some dude. Okay, look, when you hit the uh, B button, you curl up like that. Okay, the A button is some sort of map. I guess the A button is kind of like an attack button. That's whatever that is. If you hold down the Y button, you urinate. Oh, you can't see. Let me show you a, a better view of that. Okay, look. Check this out. Yep. We all do it. We all do it. Cool, I just killed a dude. Can I just eat him for sustenance? I don't know, man. This is an alien planet. We got whole different rules, man. Sometimes you gotta eat raw meat. You just gotta go for the jugular. Here's a little snail dude. I'm gonna beat him up while he's down. Hey, man, the best victims are the, you know, dead horse victims. Because they're already down. Might as well be like a vulture or a turkey vulture and just go for it, man. That's how evolution works. That's why our ancestors succeeded. You gotta think about these things. You gotta contemplate on these things. Okay, look. I'm supposed to be in some sort of area. I think I was in it, right? And I failed miserably. See, these little mushroom shoot umbrella looking Willy Wonka things, they are supposed to turn into little platforms or something. I don't know, man. This game is so weird. It's weird in a good way, but then again, it's like, I need an instruction manual. I need a booklet. Sometimes you just need a big, thick car manual for everything. So, yeah, before I end this, I'm going to go to the east side of this map, which if you hold down the A button, no, which doesn't work. If you hold down the B button, which doesn't work as well. Was it the start button? Yeah, there's like a map right there, which doesn't give you much information. It's just a bunch of nonsense to me. I'm having an existential crisis, you guys. Dr. Eggman is having an existential crisis. Pun intended. Well, hey, man, for being a weird mutant slug, you've got pretty good abilities. You got, you know, some bully abilities. You can just totally just, uh, you know. I think there's a problem with bullies in school these schools, you know, so you can just be a bully like that game on PS2. Alien stuff, man. Okay, this is an impression review, and it's kind of sad how I don't really know what to do, but this is kind of a game where you just kind of play and try to figure stuff out as you go. Oh, I gotta add something real quick. I ordered some Zogs online, which is like um, some bubblegum stuff back in the 90s. And I was very nostalgic for that. And I got some BS, uh, BHS bubble tape. Um, I found three of them for an okay price. So I got three of those coming. Um, there was like a Nightmare on Elm Street one that I remember. I think it was called Gum in the Hair or something like that. And I can't find that but uh, I'll put a picture down but um it's really nice to get my hands back on that stuff because I, I was really dumb to get rid of some of that stuff I had all of them back when I was a kid and I'm nostalgic for it because I was going through summer camp okay this is that platform part I was talking about like you have to urinate on something you gotta urinate to just get past all the stuff in this game I mean that's the answer to everything just just pee on it you know so it solves everything, but nostalgia is crazy. I love 
pogs. I love zogs. I'm pretty sure that's what they're called. And we need to talk about this game. I, I swear there was some stuff that happened. I, I feel like this gameplay footage is different from the first time that I played it. I, I remember there's some stuff. Wait, I bet you once I leave these lily pads right here, there'll be a little cutscene. Th yep. Told you. Yeah, egg dude's coming out. Jim Carrey Eggman's coming out. Are you guys going to watch that Sonic movie for real? Please sound off in the comments. I want to know about that Sonic movie. Is, is anybody remotely excited about that? He looks like a sea life snubby. Look, he's going to pee on it. Told you. This game's about urination. beat up the snail. Don't run away when I'm beating you up. Maybe I can get up here and urinate on something. I doubt it. It didn't work last time. Like seriously. Like I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to urinate on this lily pad. I didn't even do it right. My aim is off. Sometimes you just can't urinate. Alright, well this is where I get stuck. This is a weird, obscure, crazy game, and I like it for what it is. It's just uh, wonky and crazy, and I think you guys need a walkthrough, and you need somebody to give this game justice that's not me, because I just give impression reviews, man. I'm, I'm not going to do no in-depth. I'm not going to go crazy. I'm not going to lose my cool over this. Because I'm just some sort of alien space slug. What do you expect? Um, this is a cool little repro game. I would not pay retail price for this. I think it's just kind of coveted for the fact that it's odd. Yeah, people love this type of stuff. But you're kind of a fool to pay full price, I think. It's a hard game. I want to give this a straight 7 just because I don't want to hate on it too much. It probably deserves like a 6.5, but you know, let's beat up this grasshopper real quick. Because we're on top of the food chain, man. We're alien slug dudes with some weird blob thing on our antennas. Yeah, I'll just give this game a straight 7. You get to beat up other crustaceans. Mr. Krabs is very absent. He's not here. Um, his daughter Pearl is absent as well. She's just uh, she's she's decided to uh, go to the DMV. So yeah, I'm not gonna recommend this. Actually, it's just so crazy and odd. I just think that it's just uh, for the niche crowd. This audio is killing my review. I think it's it's raining these orbs, these jello shots. You know. Let me get out of here. So yeah, 7 out of 10, I don't recommend actually. But I do recommend getting a repro copy or just burning it for the um, novelty of it. So I'll recommend it for those reasons. And yes, I appreciate you watching. You're the best. Watch Are You Afraid of the Dark? I don't mean to tell you what to do. You can do it, do whatever you want. You're you're an adult probably, right? But Are You Afraid of the Dark is a great show. Nostalgia is crazy with that one. And I might just watch an episode tonight just just because. You're the best. I love you so much. I love you so much. Dreamcast 84 you're the best. Thanks.